I am a cat. Stand up straight. <laughs> 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 some fire to make it look good. So can you get the um, you got a candle? candle. <laughs> Do the sound. <laughs> oh, it's recording by the way. Is it? Yeah. It's what? <laughs> Buy it now. <gasps> it's all good for the You caught it. <laughs> now, am I? Yeah. Oh no. Oops. I said button in the. Oh, you get the wreck up as well. A smack of feel ill, that is. Poison. He's very clever. Very clever for a mental retail. Oh, Total retail. Advert. <laughs> Make me look like moron. Total retail. Who's alive in the middle? Oh, get me some out. Oh, wreck. I thought it was mad. Come on, we need carpet label photography here. God, it's so realistic, isn't it? <laughs> 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 See, I'm out of view then. It looks really realistic. Let's put everybody in a trance. There's no cold in the No, no, no. It's Michael Jackson Moonbox. That's that stuff. Somebody's nose. Somebody's nostril. Now we can have the man with the back head. The man with the back head. <laughs> Why don't you have this? He can be a strange, mysterious. <laughs> Give me a strange and mysterious mist. What's wrong with that? The planet back. Hello. Goody, I'm interviewing. Mm. Brisbane's wheezing director. 
and scriptwriter, cameraman, best boy, boom on to operator, everything, Mr. Mark Jones Jr. <laughs> From the top. <laughs> Hit it. Good evening. <laughs> Look at the camera. I'm interviewing <laughs> Britain's top director, producer, writer, cameraman, <laughs> little green man appearing on the screen. Mark Jones Jr. who has shocked the world, the complete universe, with his film, The Show Stacker. And I'm here. He's going to answer a few questions for us. Mark. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. I'm gl glad to be here today. I'm glad as well. So am I. <laughs> Can I get on with the interview? Of course. <laughs> what was your inspiration for your new movie, The Show Stacker? <laughs> well, really, it was um, my time I spent at the co op. Uh, shelf stacking, yes. which really did influence me to um, to make this movie. I thought it was a movie I had to make, yes. and um, basically, um, you know, pledge cleans better than any other um, <laughs> polish that I've ever seen. You know, you get all these other polishes, but it, honestly, for value for money and for and for um, you know for, for doing the job, Bullshit. you can't go wrong with pledge. Yes. Well, I believe it didn't do too well at the box office. No, actually, I didn't even sell one copy to anybody. But um, why was that? I don't. I think it's a question of understanding, really. Yes. Because I, think I watched it and I didn't understand it at all. And that's just it, you see. But then I'm a moron. Exactly. Yes. Well, no, I'm not saying that really, but you just did. You see this shoe? Yes. Well, there you go then. <laughs> I see. <laughs> now I understand. It's all about the shoe. All right. And Ronald. And what's his name? I just said Ronald. Sorry, I was that? Hits me! Ronald? Yes. Why did you decide to call him Ronald? I didn't call him Ronald, he was called Ronald when he came to me. Oh. He was born in the Peruvian jungle. Was he? Yes, and he's the last one of his kind. What is he? He's, uh, squashed. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was some, some sort of creature. He was. He was? Yes. What sort of creature was he? Or was it just a piece of plasticine with bomb <laughs> <laughs> No, it was actually a Peru Peruvian Peruvian tree spaz. <laughs> um, yes. And the Peruvian people hunted them for their wigs. Because <laughs> they like their wigs. Yeah. And plus the Peruvian people are very small so it used to fit them, so. Uh, can we talk about my film please? Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, what about it? Tell me anything you want about it. Why did you make it? Because I felt I had to. Because I felt there was an injustice. You know, being a shelf stacker, you know, you get to understand that, um, you know, life isn't all a can of carrots and a half a tin of peas. Yeah. So, um... There's lots of breaking things. As well as, yeah, but people just didn't understand that. You just don't understand, you do. <laughs> You're just too intelligent for us. Really, you should be dead. Well, that's it. When I'm dead, um... I'm going to have my body cryogenically frozen. Yes. So that I can become a kipper. Yes. Yeah. And do you have anyone in mind to eat you in the near future? No. Why not? <laughs> Come on! If you want to be a kipper, somebody's bound to eat you. No, a kipper. A kipper. A kipper tie. No, a kipper. Someone who sleeps. <laughs> no, Kipper. So I will be a Kipper, kipper. but no one will eat me because I will be frozen. Yes. And you know how difficult they are to defrost. Exactly. <laughs> Being a shelf staff yourself. What's that? Are these a few sketches you've done? For my new film. Yes. <laughs> that's a particularly witty one. And that's, and that's the, script. the script. Yes. And how long, it <laughs> how long does it take you to write the script for the film? Um, well, taking the time, the, the, you know, the time I had to work out production costs and uh, writing out the script, mm -hmm. uh, about five minutes. That's all the time, isn't it? It is, really. A very long time. Yeah. So now, if you don't mind. Yes. Okay, 
This is Bill, News at 10, signing off with Mark James.